All right, guys, beautiful morning. Uh, we're supposed to have a pretty solid front come through. Should be a good bite before this uh, wind machine really cranks up to next level is what I'm thinking. So let's see what we can do. It's gonna be my first lure of choice there. Old chatterbait, Dr. Juice stuff. Maybe it works really well, maybe it doesn't. I'm a fan of Procure, so I think scents do have their time and place. Um, murky water like this, they're always good. Okay, chatterbait fish. Striper. Nineteen feet, okay. So three sounds chatterbait. All right, it's a six inch whip tail shad. That's a striped bass. Low twenty inch or so. Wow. Fired up pretty good. This bank drops into 20 feet of water pretty much instantly. Doesn't see 20, but very quickly. Some small bites there. All right. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I lost him. Decent striper there, actually. Wow. And I lost a, lost a pretty decent striper. I mean, looked like it was about 27, 28 inches. Nice fish. Oh, I lost him. Dang. Opened up the hook. Dang. You know what? That chatterbait, I was snagging it up all day. That's why I don't like bending hooks back sometimes. Oh. Seems like they bite pretty well on the incoming tide sometimes. It's not what I missed before, that's for sure. It's just a schoolie striper. Critter I missed before. See, I was snagging up with this thing all day and I was bending it back. And as soon as you really weaken the hook by snagging it, trying to bend it back is always a uh, risky pop proposition. I think I got this one. The red drum. Didn't mean to gift wrap you. Oh, pretty one. That might have been what I missed on the chatterbait, honestly. Now I'm thinking about it. That other striper I lost, first striper I lost, what looked like a decent fish, but I'm starting to see that the uh, reds are fired up right now on this part of the tide. Okay. Pretty fish. Real healthy. This is a good one. That's a nice tournament fish right there, 26 inch plus. Putting this Dr. Juice stuff on there? I don't know. Does it make a difference? Maybe. That's a 3 8 ounce uh, jig head 
whiptail shad. I like big lures deep, man. They seem to always get quite a bit of action. See, I didn't really pack many of these whiptails and these chatterbaits today. It's a big mistake on my part. Should have had plenty of those ready for today. It's okay, kind of a bummer, but let's try this guy here. Okay, three eighths ounce jig head, east of the gulp paddle shad. Check that out. I don't know if these are new, I haven't fished them yet, but they look mighty juicy to me. Oh, yeah. That's gonna get thumped by a red drum. Guys, we got a good one. Pump that paddle shad. This is a striper. It's a really nice one, but I think this is a red. Ho, oh, oh. ho, that's a nice uh, Carolina striper actually. Wow, that did take me by surprise. I thought that was gonna be red, for sure. Went for a gulp. Check this out guys, pretty nice striped bass. All right, not a giant. Our stripers don't get that much, you know, they're 30 inches is a nice fish. Hey, that's not bad. Nice one in the mix. Uh, the other one I missed on the chatterbait was pretty decent too. So uh, let me do that drift again. I, I seem to have a little hot streak on this little ledge right here. I'm going to keep drifting it. That was on a gulp. Sw swapped out the uh, whip tail for a gulp. All right, got a fish under me right now. When in doubt, gulp it out. All right, another bite for the gulp. So a couple reds on the chatterbait and whiptail, and a couple on the gulp. Pretty one, really nice size today. We have to find some smaller ones here. Eventually, right? Small red drum. Smallest of this batch, that's for sure. 
Okay, buddy. All right, it seems like this wind's really kicked up big time. It's getting pretty much unfishable quickly. Um, but hey, that was a quick little bite. Check the video's description for links, everything we used. Honestly, all I did is uh, whiptail sheds, uh, chatterbaits, and a gulp paddle tail today. I think, uh, I'm not too sure the name of it off the top of my head. Uh, mostly vertical for the bigger fish. I fished so much shallow stuff today, top water, uh, plastics, a lot of shallow stuff, all small fish for me. Hey, um, you know, <laughs> the shallow game is not the best, I know that too though. So, uh, yeah, a bit of wind. Uh, looks like we're gonna have a nice stretch of no fishing coming up. Uh, then we'll be headed to the Everglades again. Looks like my timing is not gonna be great in terms of cold fronts, etc. but hey, uh, let me get out of here. As always, thank you guys for watching, uh, and I will catch up with you for the next video.